To get started with Kajabi, enter your email and click on Start Free Trial. If you'd like to support our channel, you can sign up for Kajabi using the link in the description. After you've gone through the sign up process, you'll come to the Kajabi dashboard that looks something like this. The first thing we want to do is to create the course, then we'll create the sales page to sell the course. To create a course, click on Products, and then click on Courses. Click on Get Started. Give your course a name and write a brief description, and then click on Next. Choose the primary and accent color for your course. Let's see what the options are. You can choose from one of these or select a custom color. Let's go with primary color of purple and accent color, what goes with purple? We'll choose the LA Lakers for this. Then if you have a thumbnail for your course, you can upload it here. Choose a thumbnail, upload a new file from my device, upload one file. All right, there's our thumbnail, click on next. I'm not sure these colors are gonna match, but you get the idea. Then now we select if the course is free or paid. This is a paid course. For payment frequency, you have the options of multi-pay, subscription, or one-time payment. This is a one-time payment of $47. And there is an option for let customers pay what they want if you'd like to add that. Then you wanna select the payment method. You can connect a couple of different payment processors to Kajabi. I already connected our PayPal account, so I'm gonna select that and then click on next. If you wanna learn more about connecting your payment processor to Kajabi, check out the help article that I'll link to in the description below. You can see here that Kajabi used AI to fill in the modules as well as the lessons for our course. If you're not quite sure what your course should contain, it might be helpful to start creating it here and see what ideas Kajabi comes up with for you. I'm going to just say for now that I don't like it. Courses now with live video sessions. Okay, so this is actually pretty good in terms of what the course would contain. Understanding YouTube and your channel, um, identifying your niche, setting up your channel. These are actually pretty good and you could go and fill them out if you want to start from scratch. Unfortunately, the thing you're gonna have to do with what it's filled in with AI is you're gonna have to go in and delete each of the individual lessons and then you can go and delete the modules. You can see if you try to delete a module before deleting the lessons, it won't let you. This video is sponsored by Porkbun.com, the best domain registrar according to USA Today and our top domain registrar of 2024. You can find out more about Porkbun in this video that you find in the description. For a dollar off the purchase of a new domain or off the transfer of your domain to Porkbun, use the link in the description below or enter the code thefigcode24 at checkout. If we want to start from scratch, it would look like this and then click on add content. The first thing we wanna do is add a module. You can add the title, description, as well as an image. We're just going to create it with the title. Then within this module, we can click on add content and add a lesson. We'll also call it welcome, create lesson. And then let's edit it. So here you can see you have a couple of options for media as well as text. Okay, so we'll add that text and then we wanna add our welcome video. Select file, upload a new video, my device, welcome video, upload. Okay, so the video is queued for processing. If we scroll down further, we have the text that I filled in earlier. You can also add any files. So if there's any PDFs or anything that go along with the lessons, you can add those here. Also, if you wanna add any automations, you can add that at the very bottom. Comments, do you want them visible, hidden, or locked? I'd like them to be visible. And is this a draft or should we publish it? Let's just publish it right now. Click on save. Okay, first lesson, check. Then let's just go back to the course, let's add more content, add another module, create the module, create content, create the lesson. Also see so you can have sub modules as well as quizzes that you can add here. Let's just create another lesson though. Create lesson, edit the lesson, and then same thing, do we wanna include media or not? If there's any other resources, add that down below. Let's upload the video ideas video for our course. Select the file, upload a new file, my device, and YouTube video ideas, upload. Now that that finished uploading, we're done with this lesson. Let's click on published and save it. And then it looks like we published the lessons, but we probably wanna go in and actually publish the modules as well. All right, so those are published. If you wanna see what the course looks like for the user, just click on this little eye icon right here to preview it. So here's what the course is gonna look like how beautiful the yellow, purple with the blue and YouTube colors are. Within each one of your courses, you have the outline, which is what we've been using to build the course. There's the customization tab that you'll see right here. I'm not quite sure how to use this yet. Then you have offers. So we have one offer to sell the course for $47. If you wanted a payment plan or subscription or something like that, you could add other offers right here. You'll have your students or customers here. When your students finish the course, you can give them a certificate. You can create that right here. 
Then we have the settings tab, which is what we create at the beginning with the title, description, thumbnail, live rooms, as well as turn on a community for the course or not. That's everything you need to create an online course with Kajabi. Now, before we go and create the sales page, let me show you how to connect a custom domain. To connect the domain, click on settings and then scroll down to domain. Also, you'll notice right here, this is where you set up your payment integrations. Here you have two options. You can use a free Kajabi subdomain or connect your own domain. We always recommend using your own domain. It looks more professional than using the software tools free subdomain. If your whole business is on Kajabi, your website, courses, etc., you can connect your domain like mybusiness.com. If you have your website elsewhere, you may want to connect a custom subdomain, something like courses.mybusiness.com. I'll connect my domain jjthalen.com to Kajabi. For detailed instructions on how to connect a custom domain to Kajabi, you can follow the instructions of this help article that you'll find in the description below. If you need a domain for your website or online school, we recommend purchasing your domain from Porkbun. A .com domain will cost $10.37 and you can get a dollar off by using the link in the description. Your domain purchase includes who is privacy protection, an SSL certificate, DNS management, web and email hosting trials, and amazing customer service by phone or email 365 days a year. If you just want to use the free Kajabi subdomain, you can edit that here. So we'll just use the figco.kajabi.com and click on save. To set up a custom domain, click here, enter the domain you'd like to use. You can also connect a subdomain and they'll give you slightly different instructions. Here you want to log in with the credentials of where you purchased your domain, in our case, Porkbun, and then it'll tell you which DNS records need to be updated and get your permission to make those changes. Now you can see it's connecting our domain, jjthalen.com. After waiting just a couple of minutes and hitting refresh, you can see that the custom domain is now connected. With the domain set up, let's now go and create our sales page. To do that, click on marketing and then click on funnels. And get started. We want a sales page, so get started with sales page. You'll wanna give the funnel a name as well as select the offer. So we want to use it to sell channel launch roadmap, create funnel. It is building the funnel. Let's see what we've got. So this is interesting. It's creating a little bit more complicated of a funnel than what I had in mind. It's giving you an opt-in page or landing page where you can collect emails. Then you would send a sequence of emails to that audience, and then you would sell to them through the sales page. This is great. You can use Kajabi to create landing pages, grow your email list, create automations, and then use the automations to sell. But what we're gonna do today is remove the landing page, which I think will remove the sequence as well. We're just gonna focus on the sales page and the offer checkout. If you wanna learn about landing pages and automations, write either landing pages, automation, just leave me a comment below and I'd gladly create more videos about how to use Kajabi. Let's just focus on creating our sales page. So you see it's going to populate with a list of different sections. We have header, video, call to action, benefit section, testimonial, and then offer CTA. We can also add any of these other sections below, or if there's something we wanna get rid of, we can click on the three dots and delete it. But I think we're good with the sections that it shows right now. And then also down below, we have section settings. So media type for the background, image, background video. If we want the positioning of the image, the background color, there's a bunch of different settings you can adjust here, but let's just get started and customize everything. So I filled in the title and subtitle, ready to launch your channel. In 48 hours, you'll have a channel launch strategy planned out so you can start creating content for your new YouTube channel. Then on any sales page, I would recommend having a video. I'm gonna click on edit. And then here you have video actions. Let's see, we can upload a video file or select a recent file. Let's upload new media from my device. Channel launch roadmap, upload, rock and roll. The video is processing. What do we have down here? Okay, okay down, down below, below we have a call to action button. button. So what do we have here? So we have call to action, block settings. So text call to action, let's say, ready to launch my channel. Let's see if it'll let me add an emoji. There we go, ready to launch my channel. I'm not viewing that in, and then go to URL go to checkout page. All right, where do we change the color? Here it is, button, background color. I think it should be something like the YouTube red. Yeah, that looks better to me. That's good. Then here we have three columns with three benefits of the course. Then after you fill in the text for each of the blocks, you can go up above and select an image that goes along with it. Let's move on to the other benefits. Let's just put a picture of me, why not? 
Then the same thing for benefit three. Okay, so there are our three benefits. Now we have a testimonial section. I don't think I have any other pictures of other people except for me that I can find easily. So I'm gonna give a testimonial for how amazing our course is. Obviously you would wanna actually have a real testimonial if you're gonna include that on a sales page. Okay, so we have on our sales page, headline, a video, call to action button, some benefits, a testimonial. Then we have a additional call to action as well as a call to action button. Then the call to action, include it. What is the text gonna say on the button? Let's keep it the same as above. Ready to launch my channel with rocket ship. The button will go to the checkout page. Button background color, bright red. And I think we're in good shape. Obviously, if you want to add anything else, we can just go back to the sales page sections and let's just quickly go through what else is here. So an additional text section, two, two column text, three column text and panel, call to action, a form if you would need, a countdown, a hero section. So kind of a big section like we saw up at the top here with video, um, rotating cards for testimonials, things like that maybe event countdown. So if you, if this is selling something live, they only have a certain amount of time before they can purchase it. That would be here. Images, text and images. So no, uh, FAQs would be a nice thing to add, but I'm not going to fill in for this. But for me, this looks like a solid sales page. Let's preview what it's going to look like. So I'm noticing here that the video is showing like this blank until I hit play. And then the video actually shows up. It looks like you want to add a thumbnail, which is the image right here. So to do that, upload a new file, my device, thumbnail for one of the other videos, we can say something like that. Obviously it would look a little bit strange because that's not what they're going to see in the video, but I think you get the idea. And then let's just click on save again, preview it again. That looks good to me. Another thing to just check out is just all the different devices. Make sure that the sales page looks good. So you can go and view that here. Or you could obviously send yourself the link, view it on your cell phone, make sure everything looks good to go. I saved it from the last changes. So that looks solid. We have the sales page. Now what's next? We have the checkout page. So this is gonna be fairly simple. You don't need to add a lot of things here. You already sold it on the sales page. So we have the offer details, description, product offer, um, product asset, begin at a specific date, restrict for a certain number of days, no. Post purchase, what do you want to happen? So members product library, so that would give them access to the course they just purchased. Um, you can set up a post purchase email. So if there's something custom that you'd like to send to them, you can set that here. If there are other automations, you can add that right here. To edit the checkout, just click on edit, channel launch roadmap, insert. And then here you can add just a quick summary of the course, just as a reminder of what they saw on the sales page. Something like that and I think we're good. Let's click on save. You're now ready to start selling your online course with a Kajabi. The next step with a Kajabi would be to set up automations, emails sent to your students or leads that sign up on your website or landing pages. If you want to learn how to sell using automations with Kajabi, write automations in the comments below. Don't forget to use porkbun.com if you need to buy a domain or if you want to save some money on a domain you already own, you can transfer your domain to Porkbun, saving you money on the annual renewals. Get a dollar off new domains and transfers by using the code thefigco 24 at checkout. If you're not yet sure if Kajabi is the tool for your courses or online business, you may want to also check out system.io. They have a great free plan to get started. You can watch our 2024 tutorial video right here. And I hope to see you in another video. Bye-bye.